everybody, welcome to another cool edition of our Tone Hacks series where we're gonna dive deeper into one of our pedals to unearth some of the tone secrets within. And uh, in this edition we're looking at the very cool flashback triple delay, which enables you to run three delays at once um, in different types of combinations. Um, and what I want to show you guys today is how you can turn this uh, little blue pedal into a kind of a faux looper, an ambient looper. Uh, and then I want to show you how you can turn it into um, a multi-effects unit for these, you know, grab and go fly, fly gigs or if you just want to quickly be able to jam with some buddies. So, yeah, let's get to it. So let's have a look at how we turn this thing into a loop station. Um, we basically have three delays and the secret is tied to the the time and the repeats and the, also you can make some cool things with the different subdivisions. So what I have set up here is um, a fairly short medium length or whatever you want to call it take delay with a fair amount of repeats on it. Uh, the second I have is a space echo emulation with time maxed repeats almost maxed uh, and a fairly high mix setting and by having the time maxed and the repeats uh, maxed it's going to pick up all of the notes that I play in the beginning and then simply loop it around forever and last I have um, a reverse delay that just helps create this ambient pad and make things a bit more interesting as we go along I'm just going to start out and then introduce the different delays one by one. Here's the first one. have this reverse pad going in the background which just yeah just helps make everything much more interesting to listen to and then if we bring in the space echo again it just has this really nice grainy quality quality to it you know which makes what you're playing into this infinite lo-fi loop I really Sit back, grab a coffee, and disintegrate with me. Yep. Okay, and now I want to show you how you turn the flashback triple delay into a multi-effects unit. Uh, sometimes you just need a quick grab-and-go board when you need to uh, jam with some friends. 
And the flashback triple delay is actually enough if all you need is a bit of boost slash overdrive, some modulation and delay. Uh, so what I've done here is that I've loaded our uh, drive and doubler tone print into the flashback triple delay. Um, it turns the, the effect into an overdrive instead of a delay, but you can also get this effect by using the slap uh, and then turning the time all the way down, setting the repeats around uh, one, and then mix to taste. Uh, but the, the drive and double tone print will give you more distortion if you want that. Uh, and I want that, so that's why I use it. And for the... I can just show it to you here. This is my clean sound. And if I enable the drive and doubler, and on the second patch, I have a chorus. And the way that I made this is so that I chose the tape delay, but you can basically pick any of our delay types that have modulation on the tail. So I took the tape delay, and then I set the time to zero. I set the repeats to around 12 o'clock, uh, if I remember correctly, and then I set the mix around 12 o'clock as well, but you can just set that to taste. Uh, and finally, I just set up a quick analog delay for some ambience. And you're good to go. So yeah, the flashback triple delay can do so many things. It's mind-boggling. Um, we'll probably make another session where we'll show some more, but that's it for now. Have fun. Bye.